Besides the fact that they were playing in London on a redesigned soccer pitch, things were relatively normal during the first eight innings of the Mets-Phillies game in England on Sunday. The Phillies were up 4-3 to three, heading into the ninth, looking to take two in a row from their fourth place foes. But then things got a bit, as our friends would say in London, dodgy. The Mets got two runners on and with men on first and third, Mark Vientos knocked in the tying run with an infield single. And then with the bases loaded and one out, Pete Alonso stepped up to the plate. And Pete Alonso did exactly what you'd expect Pete Alonso to do. He got hit by a pitch. Five to four, Mets. The two, two, he hit him. That's gonna force in a run and the Mets lead 5-4. Alonzo takes one for the team. A pass ball put the Mets up 6-4, to four, headed into the bottom of the ninth. But the Phils, those fighting Phils, would of course fight back. A Bryce Harper single, a Christian Pache single, and a walk loaded the bases for the Phillies with one out. Another walk to Alec Bohm got a run in and had the Phillies down just one run, 6-5. to five. With the bases loaded and one out and Nick Castellanos at the plate, the Phillies looked to tie the game or take the lead. Instead, something was done that has never been done before in the history of baseball. Nick Castellanos hit a chopper just inches in front of home plate. Catcher Luis Torrens, quickly becoming a Mets legend, turned the very first game-ending 2-3 ground ball double play in recorded ALNL history. And because it happened in England, let's go straight to the English broadcast for the final call. Castellanos' bat explodes, and they're going to get the runner at home. They're going to get the double play to win the game. What an end. The shattered bat, the runner out at home plate, and the ball fired into the glove. And the first baseman, Peter Alonso, and the New York Mets somehow withstand the Phillies rally, and they win game two in London 6-5. Hectic, chaotic, insane. Call it what you want but we'll call it what a British reporter called it post-game, a reference to an exciting moment in a close game of English football. Squeaky bum time. Squeaky bum time. <laughs>